did a, a, a mock interview with the girl that I'm scheduled for, for the 22nd of February. So we just did that. She just gave me the recording. I sent it to you. And that's your the one. Facebook. Yeah. Okay. And my husband and he was like, yeah, I, I want to make sure you saw it so you can see this is the background that we're using. Okay. I'll be using this background for everything. Okay. Uh, if that was okay, because I know you you said in the um, presentation, I loved your presentation. I watched that presentation three times. <laughs> yeah, because I wanted to, like, he was like, give me a five, give me a four, you know, say yeah. yes, you know, yeah. like you were yeah. getting them to participate the whole time. Oh, I was picking up what you're putting down. Trust me. <laughs> Yeah, so I was like, okay, let me take those, and those are all pointers for me to to incorporate into my lives that I do. Absolutely, absolutely, and 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 you will see that. Uh, so you, you see that presentation that I did there. That was uh, that that's a that's what I call my master class, and that's I do that about once a month. Okay. Okay, and and the same material that I that I shared there. I share it every single month on like clockwork, okay? Um, now, before each presentation, sometimes I will go in and I will make some adjustments. And, uh, and, and what I do actually is I use Canva to design that. And in my Canva accounts, I'll make a copy and then I'll say, this is January. So that as I'm looking back, just in case I cut something out, I move something in and all that, I have what I did in February, what I did in March, you know, I can see the progression and I can see if suddenly I feel like bringing something back, I can bring it, go back to October, bring it back in, you know? So that way it simplifies the, the masterclass process for me. Okay. okay. And that's Canva presentations. Is that yes. what you do? Okay. Yes. Yes. So, um, but but when I go out to speak in a in an event, you know, like a space like that, I don't use my masterclass. My masterclass on its own is a one hour, 15 minutes presentation, okay? Because I wanna bring people in, I wanna, you know, connect with them. I wanna, you know, I wanna show the expertise really well. And I wanna show them the gap that they have in their, in their, in what I do, right? So, so I won't do that when I go speak somewhere. I have a smaller presentation that I use when I, when I go out, you know, to speak. Okay. And that also, I'm always fighting and, and redoing. Okay? Um, okay. You know, but, but you see one concept that I think would really help you is for you right now is um, maybe actually tell me a little bit more about your, your, so the, the mock one that you did just now, it's uh -huh. a 25 minute, 22 minutes uh, presentation. Uh, yeah, she's asking me, like, she's helping me. Uh, she's doing the flow. Like, she asked me to introduce myself. Then she said, well, I did that. And then she goes, okay, she's throwing in questions. Okay. That's what you're going to see some of that. And she's like, okay. hold on, let me take that note. Because okay. she's taking notes of what, I guess, the main points that she wants to bring out. Okay, okay. She asked me, tell me your story. Oh, God, okay. I've got to really get my story down. Because my husband was like, that's your story. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, uh, okay. yeah, I know I need some work. <laughs> yes, it does. It does. Okay. So, so give me, so when are you doing this presentation? On the 22nd of February. Okay. Okay. So we still have, today. yeah, 22nd. Okay. So, so there's still, there's still a lot, a lot of time before that, yes. um, you know, and, uh, because there is, there's different formulas that you need to to have in place when you're doing when you're telling your story obviously you need to say the where you were what happened and then you know the 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 um after before and after right mm -hmm. yes I'm so, going to you so I can see you. So it doesn't look like I'm looking at you over here, but then it looks like I'm not paying attention. I see. I see. Let okay. Me, so. Let me take my view so I can have you at, encompass the entire screen. Mm -hmm. There you are. Got it. Okay. Okay. I have you now. okay. So, uh, so what are you using to, to do this? She's using StreamYard. So she's doing it from her end and okay. she says she's going to record it. So that way, if it buffers or anything, or if there's any latency, she can cut that out. And then she's going to do it on, she's going to take the pre-recorded 
interview and then live stream it on Facebook so okay. it looks smooth. Okay. And she okay. told me that if there's any questions during the live. Now, I the thing of it is, I actually want to be on the live if it's possible so that there's any questions, I can at least get their info and field it. Okay. You know? Okay. Okay. So, Okay. I don't know. I don't know the best way to do that to answer questions during the live. Yeah. So so it's it's pre-recorded and it's going to be live streamed into the, but it's not going to be at the same time that you're pre-recording it. That is live streamed. Okay. Right. So, so it's pre-produced live stream. Yes. Okay. I like that pre-produced yeah. live. Stream. Exactly. So so now are the people when when it's been live streamed. Are the people going to know that it was pre-recorded? I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't think she is going to let them know that. I think she just oh, okay. lied. I see. I see. So if that's the case, then you really can't answer the question as they're bringing it. And you can't get that engagement as you're doing the live stream because it's not going to be real. It's It's very different from what I did in the stream, in the group where I was asking and I was waiting for people to answer. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, so, um, so, uh, the challenge with that, I mean, it's, it's okay. That's, that's a style, you know, I prefer the live live, you know, where, and if it's not live, I'd like to be able to communicate with the people in the comment, but, but I yeah. think what you could do is while you're doing this is, after you can say something like, first of all, ask her if she's going to announce to the people that it was pre recorded. Okay. If, if then it means she's going to say that Tammy is going to be in the comments answering your questions, you know, or Tammy's team member is going to be in the comments answering your questions. So please respond in the comments, right? You know, and then when you are talking, you can say something like, you know, I want to keep my focus. So after the stream, I'm going to come back to you in the comments and answer your questions so that you can still get people to engage. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, so that's, that's the way to, to do it. And uh, now the other thing that I wanted to say is now with this screen that you have with this uh, set that you have, do you, is there a possibility for you to move closer to the camera so that we see you a yeah. bit better? Like that? Aha. Uh -huh. So, so like, uh, okay, let's see. Uh huh. Is that okay. better? Yeah, much better. Much okay. better. Uh -huh. I can even get closer. Uh huh. Yeah. Closer, the closer, the better, so that the people can okay. connect. So you're not like, look at me from you now. Can you see me? Yeah. That uh, makes me feel far away from you. Exactly. So you so they, they don't feel like they're so far away and and yeah. you get this you, you actually disconnect from them, you know, yeah. that way. And they they you feel it feels like you know you're giving them a ham slap, you know, like okay. keep keep them far away. Yeah. yeah so like to bring it at the end when she does her thing, she's like you, she's that close, or she's just like she's right here and she's like, you guys, this and the other, blah, blah, blah. And just say right. like she her head takes on most of the camera. That's it. That's it. That's that's okay. the best way to to do it, to do it so that the people, you know, they can see you and and you're not, you know, like for for my for my own audience, when when I'm starting, some people are afraid to go live. They are afraid to be on camera. And and that's why sometimes they'll be, you know, very far away, in the uh -huh, you know, but but we, <laughs> but we want to be up close, up close, like friend to friend, you know, right? Yeah. Like, Okay. See, I Very like good. doing it from my laptop because my laptop, my face is right there. Because <laughs> when I have it right here, it's, it's at eye level and I'm talking to you yes. in my laptop. This is the one we use for our Zoom meetings for our okay. classes. Okay. Um, but yeah, I still like, I like being closer to be honest. Yes. yes. So it's just, it's just going to be just the same way you brought the chair closer. That's, that's the way to, to do it, you know, and, uh, and that's the interviews. Yes, even okay. for the interviews, you know. So, right. so that way you're still they still see that you have a brand. They still see that logo, okay. uh, the choice define you, uh, kind of thing. They still see the heart. They see the the plants, the greenery that is going, you know. And uh, I I love it. I really love everything. That like you that, have. yay! Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah the too. girl who did the interview, she said, "Oh my God, I have stepped my game up. This looks <laughs> good." 
<laughs> yeah, and then she yeah. asked me some of the quotes that I like, and I was able to say, choices define you. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Yeah. So, um, so now the the way we um I'd like to do this is we start with who your ideal audience, uh, your ideal client is. Okay, you've already given that to me, but I I want you to actually let me pull that up. Okay. And then you're going to tell me um, in one word, let's see, um, you shared this with me. Drive, um, so. in my drive, shared with me. And Tammy, let's see. Okay, this is it. Okay. Um, so it's the black black woman. Yeah, my husband just said, you know what? We might want to expand Kanisha. And I keep a um an avatar sheet. Uh -huh. So right now I was taught by Andre Chaperone that I'm supposed to have three avatars. Right now, I only got one. I did have two, which was Kevin, the black man, but we had to drop Kevin because Kevin's hard headed. Kevin don't, Kevin don't pay attention. Mm -hmm. Kevin needs a wife to prepare all his food for him because otherwise, Kevin's not going to do it. Mm -hmm. So we, that's why we focused on Kanisha. So mm -hmm. I got to have two more, and they got to be of a different ethnicity. As my husband said, put them in the boot camp, and then just like everybody else. So I got Kanisha. I've got. Becky or whatever her next name, Heidi or whatever. And then I have to have my um someone else, Consuel or somebody like that, you know. Okay. Uh, okay. I don't get any Asians or okay. least. I get black people and Hispanics. That's what I get. Okay. Okay. I, I think I've only had one white girl. Okay. Okay. And and does your does your formula help all these people? Yeah, because we're all human. Okay. Yeah. So, so, so the way, you know, where the person that told you, you need three ideal clients, um, I, I would still say it's still one, except you have three, you can use different personas. I gotcha. That's, it. Uh -huh. that, that's, that's the way I would look at it. I would okay. call them different personas, different, um, different kind of your same ideal clients. Okay. Gotcha. Um, uh -huh. So, um, you know, your, your ideal clients would be, but in order to be clear and in your messaging is better to have your ideal clients is the right now. And Kanisha. <laughs> I don't know. So, so what you're telling me now is you have Hispanic people and you have a white person. Yeah. They're, they're really not uh, who what makes up the bulk of my current clients right now is all black people. We, all, okay. we got one white boy. Okay. So, it, so we can, we might as well just focus on the black people for now. Okay. Uh, and, and then once you have, uh, once the message is, is on fire, like you have rapid fire, you can, you, you can now extend it and say, oh, by the way, we're doing a boot camp for Hispanic people, or we're doing a boot camp for white people that are getting, we're beginning to see that many of them are getting results. Then you can market. It's like entering another market. Yeah. Because because uh -huh. we were just trying to keep it with women still, yeah. But just open it up for everybody instead of just Kanisha. So uh, you said keep it with Kanisha for now until our market gets hot, right? Absolutely. That's that's what I would prefer to do, uh, because that way you're able to focus. Uh, you know, even when it comes to the research and who you targeting and how to get them it's going to be easy to to just stay in one field then maximize that niche and then go to the next one okay mm -hmm. so now uh so so that person now would be your african-american woman that is so explain who they are to me to other races okay um panisha she and I got my it's upstairs, damn it. Um she um she is your boss bitch, right? That's what she calls herself. You know, that's your American, 
boss bitch. And oh, actually, I, I took a picture of it for you. Okay. Um, that way I can put it up on the screen if you want. Um, yes, please. Okay. All right. Let me put it up on the screen or I can. Um, yeah, I sat right there and took a picture of it. <laughs> <laughs> and um, here we go. All right. Come on. It should show. All right. How about this? I'll messenger it to you. Okay. Uh, come on, come on, Tan. Let's get let's get fast with this. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Um, there, send it. It just it sent. Okay. Um, okay, got it. Yeah, I was trying to airdrop it to myself and it just wouldn't do it. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm gonna open image. Let's see. I should can I can flip it. Um yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to say let it. me see if I can send it to myself again. Because that way when I get it, I can flip it. Mm -hmm. I, I think I may be able to actually flip it too. There um, it is, finally. Let's see, open with preview. All right, it just sent to me. It's okay, I got it. I, I flipped it. You did, it. okay. Yeah, so, so she so. is, Um. she loves what she does. She is, you know, she's educated. She went to college, got a four-year degree. Some mm -hmm. have their masters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so she's an executive, right? Mm -hmm. Most of them make about six figures. I mm -hmm. had a client that was staying here with me and I did an interview with her because mm -hmm. she is my, my, my clientele. Mm -hmm. And she just turned uh, 34 years old. Okay. Um, okay. But she's you know, always worried about, you know, because of the way that black women in America was raised, a lot of them were raised without their daddy. Okay. So they may or may not have seen stability in their family as far as finances. So okay. because of that, she's very driven. And sometimes they, she has a fear in the background that something could be taken from her financially. So she mm -hmm. over prepares to make sure that she is um, financially okay. Because okay. of that, and that worry, that worry, hits the adrenal gland and it causes her to have weight gain right she's not mm -hmm. eating well she's not exercising anymore um mm -hmm. she's worried about not being able uh, she's worried about her sexual marketplace value declining you know because she ever heard this she heard of kevin samuels they can't stand to kevin samuels they're glad he's dead now you know mm -hmm. but he he tells them you're not as as bomb as you think you are right? So she has those insecurities with her. Um, she wants to be married, but she's just like, I, I don't know if I can trust a man. I don't know if he's going to leave me correctly. So these are the things that she's thinking and feeling. She wants to secure the bag. She wants to be a boss bitch. She wants to make sure she has the, the lifestyle that she can afford. Mm -hmm. With that, she also is, she's drinking her wine. She's, she's doing things that's hurting her body, right? Mm. Um, what does she see? She's surrounded by a supportive network of other women just like her. They birds of a feather flock together. So six-figure earners are all single, mostly, right? They don't have successful relationships, men ain't shit, this, that, and the other. You know, their kids come first. That's what they do. Their mm -hmm. education comes first. Um, what is it? She has, yeah, all of them got high stress because they're, they're bringing in that bag. Mm -hmm. uh, Instagram. Instagram hears what is, oh, she hears what's marketed to her. Um, uh, my husband says, you know, she, she goes to the gym, but she really can't, you know, really get to the gym like that. She don't have the energy. Mm. Uh, she knows about all the fashion trends. She can tell you what's slaying. She's, she's always slayed. Mm. Uh, she's having her best life. Black girl magic. That's, that's what she is. Mm -hmm. And um, what does she say and do? She's smart. She's like, um, 
as he does it, he he knows how to mimic them. Ah, bitch, I'm a boss bitch. That's that's how he mimics them. And she's ghetto fabulous, if you want to call it that. She's uh, they call it sophista ratchet. Hmm. So that's her psyche. She beats face, makes sure that you know makeup is on point, her weave is on point, but her body is toe up inside. Hmm. She sees that she's losing her girlish figure. She knows that she's not sleeping well. She's mm-hmm. seeing things that say, hey, the aging process is taking place and you don't know what to do to fix it. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see that my health is declining, but I, my doctor wants to put me on meds. I'm only 27. What am I doing on meds? Or mm-hmm. I'm on, sorry, I'm only 34. What am I 34. doing on heart meds already? Mm-hmm. Why do I have pre-diabetes? I need mm-hmm. to stop this, this slippery slope. I'm going downhill. By the time I'm 50, I'm not, I'm not even going to look like anything. Mm-hmm. These are all her fears. Mm-hmm. This is what's keeping her up at three o'clock in the morning. I got fibroids. They want to operate on me. Um, I bleed heavily so bad that I actually have to bring a change of clothes in place in case I bleed through it. Mm-hmm. Why do I have fibroids? No one's telling me anything. How come I can't lose this weight? No mm-hmm. one's telling me what to do. I'm mm-hmm. hearing all these conflictual messages. Can somebody just guide me? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. very good very good this is very clear you've you've done you've done a good job on on knowing your ideal client very well okay so so actually what we're going to do next now is we're actually going to go into your off uh, your uh, audience stack because we have a clear understanding of who you're talking to and what their problem is now there is a there's a sheet that i have in the inside of the um members area yes did you see the off audience yes. start yes i'm there now i'm listening okay. i i listened to a couple of them twice on my way okay. to north carolina yesterday okay. or on sunday because mm-hmm. I, I need to make sure i'm really hearing everything and sometimes it means i gotta go in material more than once yes yes i love that okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create uh one of those and put it in your yeah and I love your example for your audience stack. Like the you have the old one and then you have the new one. Mm-hmm. And man, to mm-hmm. see how you wrote that out, that was a great example for me. Very good. Very good. And and this is this is actually next level what you need to do now because once we know and we're clear of who your um audience is, right? The next thing is we need to be able to recognize where what level they are as soon as you meet them okay okay and that's what the audience stack does okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna share uh my screen yeah she's at awareness she's looking for answers now Mm -hmm. like how you said she's aware of her pain now she's like Mm -hmm. okay who has my answers Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i don't know that her uh, acting like olivia i forget olivia pope drinking the wine every day is actually hurting her. She doesn't know that. Mm, mm. Okay. So, so now the, the, the idea is this, um, let's just make sure I'm going to make sure I put this in your file. Okay. Okay. So, so right here, um, I, I created a, a folder that is, for your name and and I'm going to share that with you when we're done today. Thank you. Um, you're very welcome. So that way and you I'll- can put all the all the material anything you want me to see you can even put it in there. Um okay. So that- Thank okay. You. You're very welcome. Yeah, so so now let's let's look at who your beginners describe who your beginners are. Now, the way to think about this is the beginner is she she's problem aware but she's not solution aware, okay? Mm. She's problem aware. Um, she may not even realize that she's the one co- causing the problem, wow. okay? Uh, or maybe she does, but give me an idea who your beginners would be. Describe. Yeah, my beginners are, uh, they're just now conscious of Dr. Yeah. Sadie, um, maybe a guy named Yaki. They're, they're just now starting to get into the, uh, glimpses of the conscious community, right? And um, they're like, oh, alkaline diet? What's that? I, I don't know anything about that. Okay. Uh, 
oh, they tell me I have to change my diet. Okay, what do I eat? Mm-hmm. And then they go and edgy, they go to uni, U, YouTube University mm-hmm. and they start learning from there, fried mushrooms, Kamut noodles. Um, they're still eating glue and don't know it, mm-hmm. but that's what they're doing. So they at least said, oh, let me try veganism. Maybe I need to do that. But what they don't know is veganism is starchitarianism, right? Mm-hmm. But let me, let me at least focus on my diet. I at least know my diet is supposed to change somewhat. Mm-hmm. So that's usually my beginners. Okay. So, so they're conscious of the solution. They're conscious of the opportunities that are out there mm-hmm. and they're constantly on YouTube and they're still trying different diets, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're still right. trying different diets. They're on keto, mm-hmm. they're on Atkins, they're on caveman, paleo, they're trying. Mm-hmm. But a lot Very of good. them, they, they swung over to, let me just be vegan for a minute. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very good. Okay. So so who would your rookies be? The rookies are the ones that have actually done it. Mm-hmm. And they came oh, out. You have with, it? You have the form? You've filled out this? Oh, no, no, not yet. Okay, okay. I need to. Yes, that, no, but that's fine. You can work with this one now. Okay. The rookies mm-hmm. are the ones that actually done the diets. Okay. They've done keto, no results. They've okay. done veganism, still ain't fixed. Even, some have even tried raw, still ain't fixed. I know of a guy that did raw for 20 some odd years. He lost his colon. Wow. His name is Matt Monarch. I'm going to watch his video today because it's going to give me good talking points. Wow. Because you can do raw and still die of cancer. You wow. can do raw and still have problems because he what he don't know is that in the beginning when I used to watch him about 10 years ago, he was drinking a lot of rejuvalex. That's a grain. If you already have IBS, you're going to worsen it. You're wow. eating, you're drinking glue at that point. You're drinking the irritant. She, he didn't know that. Hmm. So just because he did raw, that don't mean you're going to be healthy. Just because you're doing veganism does not mean you're going to be healthy. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, they seen the the rookies know that I, I haven't fixed myself. I need something else. Mm-hmm. They they've done herbs. Mm-hmm. They've done herbs and still don't still ain't see no fix. They get a temporary fix, but it's not a permanent one. Because the moment they stop, the problem comes back. Very good. I love this. Now, so you're bringing your your rookies to the achiever level, right? And the achiever mm-hmm. level is when they they sign up with us, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. They 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 sign up for so these rookies are the ones that need you, and they're yeah. the ones that are going to sign up. And the achiever is where you bring them to the solution yes. that you bring them to. Yeah. Yes. The achievers in two weeks they see their sugar numbers go down. Mm -hmm. They see their heart blood pressure numbers go down to the lowest that they've ever seen before in their lives. They've seen that when they started the diet within 14 days, five boys leave their body. Hmm. They fall out. They've seen those who have pancreatic stage four cancer saw that in three months, all the cancer levels went back down to normal. The doctor can't say they're cured, but the family knew what it meant. We've seen people who were blind recover their sight back in two weeks and reverse macular degeneration within the three month mark, the 90 day mark. They went back to their doctor and the doctors are calling them the miracle child. Hmm. We've never seen this before. Yeah, it's because Hmm. the doctors don't know what they're doing. And it's not because it's not that they don't want to know what they're doing. They weren't taught in, mer- in medical school what to do. Hmm. Okay. That's amazing. Yeah. We've had women, uh, one's mother that lost 100 pounds in four, in four months without sagging skin. Hmm. She's reversing autism in her child. Her child went from not being able to speak to speaking within a few weeks of the diet. Wow. And now the, wow. the teachers in the autism classes, they're looking at their child, her child, and they said, this is not the same little girl that started our program a year ago. This is a completely different child. 
And the mother's not telling them it's because of the food that she's changed her child to. She's not telling. Wow. We had a, a girl with MS. They tell you MS is irreversible. She was reversing her MS. Start to walk. She could do squats. Her goal was, I want to be able to write my name without doing this. Hmm. And she was able to write her name. Hmm. Wow. Person, MS. The things that they claim you cannot do, you can't actually do. That's amazing. That's really amazing. And, so and now, what? Those are our achievers. Yes. And our advanced people are the ones who become certified like me, like Dr. Amana. And now she's teaching um, one of my boot camps. I love this. Okay. And, that's it. That's and just it. off of, you know, with the, with, with filling up the 75 seats, she gets paid. That's what a hundred, $1,299 at 48%, she gets 48% of every sale that I do for the boot camp. Very She's good. going to make six figures. When I get this, what, we're, what you and I are doing down pat, mm -hmm. I'll be able to help her retire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's Perfect. also a gym teacher and a health teacher, and she's teaching the children what she learned here. Mm -hmm. So now the next generation is going home and they're telling their mom and dad, you know, you eat glue every day. You know, you need to do this. You need to do that. These children are starting to do what she's teaching them and they're mm. seeing results already. That's amazing. So, so now some of your achievers, is there, you have a certification program? Yes. Okay. They so get some, of your, uh -huh. some of your achievers are going to take the courses at uh, the certification course and actually become advanced level. Yes. Very good. They become Very they good. yeah they become not just affiliates but now you're teaching and we have a contract with you, and um and that's how we're gonna do it. I love I love your model. I I love your model. Thank yeah. you. You're very welcome. Yeah. So so now the 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 what you're going to do from this now is we're going to just fill this out. Okay. okay. Uh, you know, and uh, and once we have a clear understanding, now what I always love to do is. I always like to give them a name, okay? Oh, okay. That, you know, very similar to, you know, when you look over here, you see the sample that I have there. Uh -huh, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so I would want you to fill it out, you know, so what we're actually going to do is we're going to move all this, all, all of this three, yeah, this okay. ones now, we're going to move them to the next, to this space. Okay. okay. And then here we're going to label, give them a name. Okay? okay. Now we can start, we can brainstorm some names together right now, but, but as you go, you can, you know, just find some really cool names. Yeah. Mine have changed over the years, you know, it's, but I love what I have right here. But okay. if I get some really fancy, you know, even stronger name, I'll change it. However, right now I've not seen anything better. Okay. Okay. So, so what, and, and the naming is you want to be able to, you know, say clearly, like, for example, if I say, Hey, this is Olusa Banjo. Are you a nervous leader? You actually okay. do, you know, you, you, you have a group of people that you're helping, but you are afraid to go live. You are afraid to do videos, you know. Now, you know, my audience can easily identify as an as a nervous leader if they are in that stage. If they are hidden heroes, and I just say, hey, you're my hidden heroes out there, you're great. And in short, you have phenomenal results that you've got for your people. Mm -hmm. But hey, nobody knows about you. Right. Uh -huh. you, right. Uh -huh. So it's easy for them to be able to self-identify when I say the names. Right. Okay. Uh -huh. So when you're naming, when you're deciding on what name to use, you can, you can think about it that way. Okay. All right. This is going to be fun. I love giving names to things. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So, so now the, the next thing there is their status. Um, the, all this just helps you clarify things and, and shows it in a neat way. So that anytime you're doing your video, anytime you're doing an interview, you're speaking as if, you know, like if you go on an interview right now, like the interview that you're going to do, you, you speak and you say, 
hey, I have some people that are actually beginners, you know, when they're, and, and the level that they're at is, is actually elementary level. They're trying, they're dabbling, and they, they know about all these things and they're trying, okay? But, you know, like, like this, this beginners, they're actually learning. They're not trying yet, okay? Yeah. They're learning and considering trying, right? Right, yes. Okay, learning. The dabblers. Uh -huh. I love them. I love that. <laughs> I'm dabbling. I the remember dabbling. you. Okay, so dabblers. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I love it. I love it. Okay, so they are dabblers. These ones are the the rookies are the they they've been doing it. Yeah. Do it. Okay. Yeah. Or, or practice. They've practiced it. Okay. Yes. Uh huh. Or maybe we can even call them practitioners. <laughs> I don't know, something like that, you know. And and then the next level is these are actually they've seen great results. Yeah, yeah. these are my Dealville citizens. We have a whole town called the uh -huh. township or the city of Dealville. Wow. I don't know what what does that mean? That's the name of our city. When you go into our cartoons, we introduce you to some of the citizens of our town. Okay. And we, you know, I, I don't know if you saw the Dr. Seuss Bacon Challenge. No. It's on it's on Netflix. And okay. so you can watch it. And I got that idea. I was like, okay, I'm already doing cartoons as it is. I've already introduced some of my characters to them. You know, we got Pancreatia already tells you what she's got problem with, her pancreas. Mm. We got Kathy, Cancer Kathy. She had cancer at one point in time. Now Kathy has become the mayor of Dillville, of the mm. town of Dillville. Dillville's got a population of 40,000 citizens. And we're always looking for new citizens. So the people that come into Dill Method become Dillville citizens. And now you can become, a, you know, you have the key to the city, the certain things that they can achieve mm -hmm. to have different markers of their citizenship levels as mm -hmm. their, you know, just to make it a fun game. Like game I love life, it. Right? I love it. I love so it. So my achievers are Dillville citizens. Mm -hmm. And then my advanced people are our scholars in Dillville, like a do our Dr. X. Mm -hmm. Dr. X is the actual um, sister that came in with us as an achiever. Mm -hmm. Her daughter had pituitary cancer. Mm -hmm. um, and so she saw the reversal, what was happening with her daughter. They told her she would never go through pu puberty. Her daughter was 16. She would never have a period. Within a, a month of working with us, her daughter got her first period. And the doctor said, that was a fluke. It won't happen again. The second mm -hmm. month, the child had the period. Wow. You see what I'm saying? So, and they, they saw that the tumor stopped growing. And one cyst that was in the front, she had two positions. One cyst actually shrank. Hmm. So they didn't have to draw fluid out the back of her head anymore. Wow. The mother saw this. Wow. Her child fought the good fight because unfortunately, before she came to us, the child had done chemo, months and months of chemo. You can't do chemo like that and it not hurt the body. Um, mm. The child passed away um, mm. around the end of the summer. Mm. She put up a good fight, mm. put up mm. a good fight. And mm. uh, she passed away because her body just was, her body was it tired. It was hurt, yeah. Yeah, wow. so it, it, was, it was almost a case of her coming to us too late. Mm. But her, while this was happening, the mother saw what was going on. She wanted to be certified. She's like, I want to do what you do. She's our advanced. Her stage mm. is Dr. X. That's mm. her actual, um, her moniker is mm -hmm. Dr. X. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love that. I love that. Now, the, the, the only difference that I'm going to, uh, the only suggestion that I'm going to add to this is, so the people that are already in Dillsville, they understand this language of you know, the names and, and the branding that goes on inside. Now, the people that were using your videos to get, they don't have any idea of what, the, I mean, what that means, okay? So what the question that I would, uh, or the suggestion that I'm going to add to this for the naming of your advanced rookie beginners and, and all of this is you make it, easy to understand uh, for the person that doesn't know your system yet gotcha okay, okay. Uh -huh. so so in your mind they may still be 
the way you you labeled it out there but but again actually remember that the people they can actually have the same name because they've not started trying your system gotcha. the people we're talking with with you know on your videos they've not started talking you've not started using your system so yes. we're getting them to actually come in Got to it. Come discover so so now but the level that they're at is they are the level where they are conscious of the opportunities that are there. They are dabblers. In short, these people, dabblers is is a good name for them, right there. Okay. Yeah. Now okay. these yeah. ones are, but but again, it's not connected to your system at all. This yeah. people, this naming. Okay. So the, the other one is you know practitioner. You know, I I don't know. You you find a better name. These ones are achievers is is perfect here okay okay because they're getting but but i would still change it to to be a bit maybe health related or or something yeah. like that uh -huh. okay. you know, and and then you know advanced makes sense here as well but but again you know the um the drill you just make sure that it's um it's catchy the same way i would yeah. say this person is a nervous leader okay on camera yeah. okay she's a hidden hero she's mm -hmm. a hero but she's hidden okay she's yes. a respected expert in her field okay so so i want you to think of words that would make sense so that whenever you go live again remember all of your videos people that don't know you are going to be watching yes okay mm -hmm. So, so that's that's the idea here. Uh, their status is, you know, now you can talk about uh, what they've tried, and you know, and and some of the things that we have here, you can bring them here again. Okay. You can add other metrics that helps you to, you know, like other metrics in based on what you've shared with me today. What what I would add there is like their you know, status, financial status, maybe marriage status, maybe, you know, their looks, maybe, you know, other metrics. I'm going to put that here. Okay? okay. And then now for each stage, what your recommendations are. Okay. So, okay. so now this would be, you, you meet someone that is a dabbler. What are you going to tell them? The strategy would be to quit this and start this, whatever. Okay. And the next one, the rookies, you meet them, they're practicing. Then you say here, that's when I take them through the deal method. And, and they start with this, 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 this is the breakdown of your method would be here. Okay. And that now brings them here. Okay. Where in this the strategy here is maintaining what you've already told them. Right. Mm. And then the next stage is now start teaching that get certified, you know, that's the strategy. Okay. Right. And, uh, and then the steps is the strategy broken down. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah. So that's the customer journey, right? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. The beginners, I put them in the group. So okay. the beginners and the rookies go into my Facebook group and then okay. I'm on them the whole time. Mm -hmm. I'm doing special presentations mm -hmm. and, um, you know, and then the offer is always fill out the intake form, fill out the health intake form. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like I just keep giving, it's like learn more with me in 30 minutes than you had in the last 30 years. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. So, so now your intake form, take me through the, what's inside of your intake form. Oh yes. The intake form is, uh, I think it's 115 questions and different sections of the body. Um, it's, it is, um, it repels the people that just wants free information and it attracts the people that actually wants me, want me to, they want to know what's really going on with them and they want real answers. Okay. It takes eight okay. minutes to go through it. Okay. Okay. So um, it takes eight minutes to go through. Mm -hmm. um, it will be similar to, you remember during my masterclass, how I was, how I was asking different questions, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Your intake form will be very similar to that, maybe a little bit more elaborate. Okay. And the reason why I wanted to, you know, I wanted to add this here is when you're doing your presentations and sometimes when you're doing your videos, you can choose one of the topic. I mean, one of the questions. Oh yeah. Okay. As a topic. 
Okay. Yeah. That, you know, so, so in my masterclass, I've, when I started doing my masterclass, I didn't have my, my survey, you know, that questionnaire that, that I have that is similar to your intake form. That is something that I would, I actually have a tool that if you fill the form is actually going to give you a, 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 a percentage of where you are, what, you know, what you should do and all that. But a lot of people, you know, in social media right now, people are not, people are looking for the solution like right now. Mm -hmm. That's why I was saying last week, the quiz, don't, don't send them to any quiz, let them talk to you, right? For now, okay? But then when you bring them to a masterclass, when you bring them to a video, you can actually ask them a question. Did you know, you know, like, give me a question. Give me one question that is in your intake form. Oh, do you suffer from depression? That's a very good question, right? And, and what, do you, what, do you, what do you expect them to say from that? Oh, a lot of them say, yeah, slight depression, especially okay. postpartum depression after they had their babies. Okay. And they don't know why. Okay, okay. So, so right there, right there is, it helps you to, to see where they are. Now, if somebody says they are, they suffer from depression, what's what's the next? What 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 would be a good next question? Oh, um, the next question is: Do you have broken veins or hemorrhoids? Okay, okay. So, um, how are they going to know that they have broken veins? Um, a lot of them, um, varicose veins, spider veins. Most of the women know their body. And they'll tell you, yeah, yeah, I did get spider veins. Or a lot of them will tell me, yeah, I end up with varicose veins when I when I was pregnant carrying my children. Okay. And okay. then a lot of them got hemorrhoids. Um, you know, some got hernias on their belly button. Some got hemorrhoids in the buttocks area. Mm -hmm. They they know what happened with them during pregnancy. Okay. Okay. So, so those, by the way, are some other metrics and symptoms that they have that we can add here. Um, okay. uh -huh. but so, so once they give you the answer now, what, where does your form lead them to your intake form? Oh, it takes them to dylmethod.scoreapp.com. You want me to share it with you here? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, cool. All right. My screen. And let me, there's this, my attendee thing. Okay, here we go. So I take them to dylmethod.scoreapp.com. Okay, and that's the landing page, right? Mm -hmm. And this landing page right here, mm -hmm. that's a little bit slow. So then they watch the video and a lot of people tell me the video intrigues them. Mm -hmm. And then they scroll down and it tells them complete it, da, 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 right? Mm -hmm. And then they can listen to testimonials and they're mm -hmm. always being invited to fill out the form. Okay. A lot of them have PCOS endometriosis, So they keep seeing, oh, okay, who's this girl? Mm -hmm. Oh, really? It's just testimonial after testimonial. It's not, yeah, there we go. After testimonial. Okay. You okay. know, and then cool. finally, you see? Yeah. Okay. Get the answers. Okay. And then click here to get started. Okay. Now, first of all, this click here to get started, is it up? Is there? Yeah. One yeah. Right? All of these are, yeah. All of these are high. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Fill yeah, out the form. Okay. So, yes. okay. So very good. Very good. Okay. Because we don't want to make sure, we don't want it to be at the bottom. Right. Yeah. Okay. Very uh, good. So, so, so now does it now ask them questions? It asks them more questions, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah. It'll Let's say uh, gender, gender no. ethnicity, and they go through it. They do it, uh -huh. and that's good. Go, okay. So th these people are already hot. Oh yeah, yeah. They they want to, and here's the thing I noticed about them. Mm -hmm. um, black women are usually heavyweight, so under mm -hmm. the metrics. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and they they fill this out. They're like, okay, I'm finally gonna get answered. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. um, this looks faint, but it's not. Mm -hmm. um, okay, what's the major complaint? I can skip, skip, mm -hmm. and skip, and I can okay. start. Okay, okay. Once so, I start, mm -hmm. now it takes them to all the questions. 
Okay. okay, okay. So, so this is now the the form. This is now when they get to begin the the intake form, right? Yep. Okay. Okay. And, so you know, um, it just boom, 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 boom. They can just go. You know. Okay. And that's it. So it's like, hey, mm -hmm. this is going to take eight minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And all they're doing yeah. is just either yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Okay. And there might be some things in there that says, um, have you ever had a goiter? No. Do you mm -hmm. sweat? They, mm -hmm. I mean, and they, they tell me what's going on with them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then after they're done, does this, uh, what's the next step after this? Uh, the calendar pops up after they hit submit. Yeah. So book as a call. They hit submit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To book the call with me. Okay. Okay. I love that. Okay. So um, let me go back to my screen here. So when, when somebody comes and they are, so, so in, as a matter of fact, what, what you were trying to say is when you have your, are your dabblers going to be excited to fill that form or your practitioners are going to be, which ones? The, my, uh, the ones, the practitioners, the ones that are the, the rookie, because now the rookie has tried it on their own because the dabblers are going to keep trying to try it on their own. They think there's a cheap way out, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some dabblers might be smart enough if I'm positioning everything correctly. They go, she just told me I can take a shortcut just by working mm -hmm. with her. I don't, mm -hmm. even, I, I don't even think I want to beat my head against the wall. Mm -hmm. Then they come mm -hmm. on in. My ones that have been trying on their, the rookies, they come mm -hmm. on in. They go, Very let good. me go ahead and fill this out because honey, I can't get it. Very good. Very good. Okay. So, so that, this is very good uh, because what that means is your, your communication in your videos and, and in all your presentation would always lead back to, they need answers. Yes. Okay. Now, when they, when they feel the information, when they feel the intake form, does it give them any results? Yes. They get a personalized, a customized report emailed to them right away. Okay. okay. And the cool thing is when the calendar pops up, it's like, we're going to talk about that customized report in detail mm -hmm. because a lot of times people need help with understanding, even though I made it very simple, mm -hmm. some of them look at information. They're like, no, nah, honey, I can't do it. I need somebody. Mm -hmm. I want to talk to somebody mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. people are inherently kind of lazy. They want to hand it to them. I, absolutely, absolutely. No, th this is really good. So when when you do your videos, um, let me see. How is it going to be? Um, so your your formula is what your. Let me open my screen again. So let's see this one. This is ten. Because I can even show you a um, zodiac quiz that I did okay. that gives them the video results. Okay. Uh, what's going on? Mm -hmm. um, and yeah. it tells them, huh? How many, how many of the people that, how many of the people that actually take this intake form quiz book a call? The majority do. Okay. Like I said, the Other. ones that don't are the ones I don't want anyways. They'll okay. do 15 questions and say, forget it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, good. This thing did exactly what I needed it to do was, was get you away Look from them. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, so what about the Zodiac uh, quiz? Oh, four. Yeah, the Zodiac quiz. I'll share my screen if you want me to. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, oh, where, oh, there it is. No. All right. <laughs> and the Zodiac quiz is the D-Y-L. Oh, what did I see? D-Y-L method. There it is, my Zodiac there. Okay. And then this was the one I ran live traffic to. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because, because again, they don't, they don't know. They don't, they don't care. They don't know yeah. what that is. Okay. Now, okay. see, I did Aries. Aries is the cartoon, but then there's the ones that I did with my actual physical face. Okay. Um, I'll show you the ones with my physical face. Um, and it's like, oh, cool. Here's the official, your super strengths, because I go over your kryptonite and your super strengths. So then, uh, wait a minute, hold on. Let me share my sound and everything. Share okay. computer sound mm -hmm. and stereo. Mm -hmm. And then hey, here we Taurus, are. Your quiz results are in and it is official. Your Zodiac health superpower 
is the endocrine system for you? Um, other people, they may not uh, be as strong with the endocrine system as you are, but for you is a very simple thing is something that is very natural. Um, your endocrine system, when it's in health, is the master computer of the body. It tells your cells exactly what to do. Every cell is told what to do through this endocrine system. And that's through the re re release of hormones and steroids. So when you're in that's health, weird. you have very yeah. proper hormones of it anymore. And, and when uh, those guys, those two guys start to go, you're going to see obesity. You'll see low metabolism. You'll okay. see fluctuating body temperature. One minute you're cold, one minute you're hot. So pause it for a minute. So when 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 they're watching this, who who do you think is interested in knowing this? Like, what's this zodiac uh, quiz? What's what's that? It tells them um, people don't know about medical astrology, and I do medical that. Medical astrology, well. yeah. Yep. So, Mm -hmm. So it, it tells them, um, um, there was a video that I did. It said, unlock your Zodiac health superpower and it's kryptonite. So mm -hmm. what I noticed that I have to do, I have to format this first before people do the, the quiz. So what I did in my Facebook group was, hey, did you know that your birth sign actually has a health superpower and kryptonite attached to it? And they're like, what, really? And then I give them the link to the quiz and one girl, she was just like, yeah, you're dead on. That's what I'm experiencing right now. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's very good. So, so could this be earlier than the, than the main intake form? Yeah, this still takes them to the intake form. Like if you're experiencing these things now, go here and let's get, and you're going to learn more with me in 30 minutes than you had in the last 30 years working with the health system. I love that. I love that. Okay. So, so then now medical astrology, I, I've never heard that. Right. Is it, is this, um, is this, is this medical? Is this science-based? Is it, what is it? Yeah. It's, it's science-based off of your astrology. And it's the reason why it's science-based because all the planets, everything pulls on you. Like the earth, see, now it gets crazy. The earth has an earth brain. And the second that you breathe the end, uh -huh. You were, you became programmed with everything that the earth gave you because the earth is a living organism, but the earth is affected by the pool of the moon, the pool of Jupiter, the pool of Saturn. So are you as okay. above, so below. It's just the way okay. that God made everything. Okay. You are affected by that. The Bible actually talks about the, um, the, the stars and, and sometimes some of the things where it says my father's house has many mansions. Sometimes they don't know that that actually ties in with the houses of the Zodiac that actually affects your body. Mm. So they don't know that, oh, when I'm under the moon sign, when I'm cancer, that actually messes with my lymphatic system. I'm a Leo. I was born under heart and circulatory. And guess what I was born with? A hole in my heart. I've mm. come across other people who had Leo children and they'll tell, I said, Did that, was that child born with a hole in heart? And they go, how did you know? Because we are affected by this because we have our organs are under strength or under weakness. And because of the way that we eat, we make these things weak. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Very brand new concept for me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> brand new completely. But 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 I, I think it's, you know, so so now why I asked that question about is it, you know, what's medical astrology is I want to know, is there a group of people out there that are looking for medical astrology? Yeah. My husband says, Kanisha is very spiritual into the Orishas and all that. They're into that. Okay. They don't know so, anything about what I do. I'm the only one out there really doing that. Okay. Now, is there all of the clients that you have right now, when they came to you, apart from the one that were referred Okay. The clients that you had, were they actually into this kind of thing before they came to you? Yes. They were already into trying to understand this stuff before they came to me. Okay. So then when we're looking at your audience stack, it, it should actually be part of their symptoms or their stages. Okay. What okay. they are doing right now. Let's, let's add that in there. You okay. know, and even, even in your ideal client statements, like the, the, the ideal clients, let that also be in there. 
because okay. because if you if you go out there now and you're trying to get me to to understand you know what you're doing and you start to talk medical astrology yeah i'm not gonna get it I, and and in short i'll scroll away because it it's not me <laughs> you get right. what i'm trying to say uh-huh. so so let's let's look more for even now when it comes to you know groups of you know people where they are gathering and you know like facebook groups and organizations and all that there are people that are already into this. Now, we don't have to go this route if majority of your people are not already into medical astrology. Well, they're not into medical astrology. They're into Zodiac stuff. Okay. Because okay. you, you have you noticed like, okay. hey, where's my Leos? At? Everybody, hey, me, I'm over here. Right. My husband said, that's the end. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's the end right there. You know, so it's it's now getting there because we don't want a situation where you're trying to convince people yeah. that it's the way to go. Let's go to already the place where people already want that. They already believe in it. Yeah. But then they now have health issues and you're now, you're, you're now telling them, hey, I can actually tell you what symptoms you're having as a result of blah, blah, blah. It's, it's right. easy buy-in. Yeah. Yeah, because so, when you look so, at your newspaper, your newspaper has a zodiac section. How many people you know look and watch? They read their zodiac every morning. Wow. That wow. even Christians, I know Christians that do zodiac, and I'm like, ooh, you ain't supposed to, but they do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so it, are you the the? I, I remember you were talking about the Bible. So, yes. are you? Do you do you work with Christians? Yes. Or or no Christian? Like I work with everybody. I but I can talk the Bible because I was a major Bible student, major Bible yeah. student. Mm-hmm. I've studied um, uh, the Jewish version of it. I, I practiced um, the the Passover on nice and 14th, the same day they do. Like I've, I was, I grew up as a Jehovah Witness. So I was like, my, my Bible studies are very deep. Mm. And then I'm also able to tie it into how the body works with the Bible. Like, mm-hmm. The Bible is like, to me, the book of Job is my favorite book. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The Song of Solomon is next, but, and then Proverbs is my other ones. Mm-hmm. But I couldn't stay in that realm because the book of Job talked about the creation and everything. Mm-hmm. Like, like look at behemoth and who can stand before it. Now, you know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I love that. And, mm-hmm. and it ties into everything we do. The Bible is, has a lot to do with how we live. Um, and yeah. we go against the first law of the Bible when he says every tree of the garden is good for eating. Mm. Why do we then sacrifice? Because that's mm. what a stove is. Mm. Now start bringing in Baal. Mm. Baal worship. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm. They mm. sacrificed. They did the burnt offerings. Burnt mm. offerings was for God, not for you to consume. Mm. Mm. So in the garden of Adam, I mean, Eve, I mean, in the garden of Eden, mm-hmm. um, the burnt offering was what when Abel gave the burnt offering to God and Cain came and said, Why are you, you know, what you doing? You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? He didn't ever tell Adam and Eve to give to eat of the burnt offerings. He never told them that. It was after the sin happened. So okay. then a lot of times we think about it's like, here's the thing, our commands from God, like I can talk from any position. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I got it. I got it. So, so now what, what we need to do now is within this week, you know, what I want you to do is fine tune this, what we did today. And, uh, and then from there, we're going to now look at, you know, the, your, uh, positioning statement, which I call the golden uh, generator, golden yes. message, you know, and uh, and then that's what we're going to be working on next week, okay? Yes. And because when we when we're clear of your message and what you do and how it helps people, it's it's just going to be magnetic, you know, for people that are looking yes. for what you're looking. And then now also it's going to be easy for your advanced people to be able to market even better you know to, to your people yeah so so okay. that's uh that's that's what i want you to do yeah. um, right now. it sounds like i got a lot of fishing hooks like i can talk chakras i can talk zodiac i can talk christian i can talk anything are those fishing hooks that help me but you're telling me from what i'm hearing is my message needs to be one clear message and that's it claire claire, claire. and 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 i think i think it's actually zodiac that is your mess that is the the big umbrella above all the people that you help people that are going to get the results that that are going to be attracted to to you they must be interested in zodiac 
Okay. Yeah. Now, after a while, after a while, what would happen is you will also get other people that are not in that, that it's a different, like it's a foreign thing too. And, but they're, they're like, Hmm, what, what is that? Because they have health challenges and they want the solution. So yeah. some of them will still come eventually, but right now let's focus solely on, so refine what we just did now, refine okay. it with the Zodiac in, in it. And, uh, and then just, just move on to the golden message. Okay. So let that be my niche, like, because I'm different from everybody else out there. That's why yeah. the girl that I work with on Facebook as she's told me, let's do a Zodiac quiz because that's, you know, no one's competing for health in the Zodiac area and that'll yeah. be your thing. Yeah. Yeah. I but love then that. I got the wrong type of leads from it. <laughs> no, but, but, but it's, it's the good tool that you created, but, but it's, you were targeting, it's too blanket. It's too big audience that you're sending it to. Okay. It's going to change. Now you're going to use that tool for something else and, and it will work better. Okay. okay so um, I'm going to, Target, I mean, I'm going to add you to the, to the folder Okay. That you're going to set, put all your information, anything you want for me, you just put it in there. Um, right. Yeah. And so uh, finish my audience stack is my homework mm -hmm. and then do my golden message. Right. Absolutely. And right. then also um, the uh, class eight or the module eight, you said, take that. And then that's what I'm going to be talking to with the leaders, the admins of the groups. Yes. Okay, because one lady, um, um, I didn't reach out to the admin, but in the group for speakers, she mm -hmm. told me um, she was interested. I, I've been reaching out like, hey, I can speak. I can speak. I can be a guest speaker. But one of her things, she's like, I'm interested in you, but do you have a, a lead a email list of 3000 people? Yeah. Like, I don't have that for you. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes that's the requirement, but, but it's okay. Don't worry about it. You will still get her later. Um, okay. I actually have another meeting right now. Okay. And, uh, All right. Yeah. So, 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 but let's, let's do what we need to do this weekend. Then we're going to get more. Okay? Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. All right. Bye-bye.